Hello, Taurus, and welcome to Taurus Truth Tarot, where we are all Taurus all the time. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. My name is Shannon Colleen. I'm a Taurus Sun and Venus, and we are going to get a mini message from our ancestors. Before I do, don't forget to like, share, and comment. I read each and every one. It lets me know that you enjoy these. <clears throat> also, don't forget to subscribe. I give a free uh, personal reading of your choice for every thousand subscribers we get. Also, because we're in the beginning of September, I do want to let you know that I am giving half off my What Does Spirit Want You to Know personal reading. It's my most popular reading. So at the end of this, there will be a little lotus flower there. Click on that. It'll take you right to the booking site. So let's jump into the reading. Here we go. Ancestors for Taurus. What is the message, please? Ancestors for Taurus. What is the message? Ancestors for Taurus. Show us clearly. What is the message, please? Show us clearly. What is the message? Ancestors for Taurus. What is the message for Taurus, please? Show us clearly. What is the message for Taurus? Ancestors. Show us clearly. What is the message for Taurus? What does Taurus need to know? Show us clearly. Show us clearly, please. Thank you. Wow. All right. Let's see what's going on over here. So, let me flip this around. So, first off, we have tune in and connect, nonverbal communication, intuition, and messages. And then, along with that, we have have courage, strength, fearlessness, being a warrior. So, this is a very clear message of trusting yourself here, right? Trusting the messages you get from your higher self, if you can see the imagery here, right? Trusting the messages from the ancestors, trusting your gut. A lot of you are going to start getting messages out right here. I mean, through dreams, through signs, synchronicities, through meditations, okay? And it's going to lead you in a new direction to go into being fearless, um, having that courage to go after what you want, your desires, your dreams, being able to push the ego aside. The ego is a good thing, don't get me wrong, but to push it aside and say, no, we're not going to stay in the same place. We're going to move forward now. Now is the time to move forward. And it really is the time to move forward. So whatever... And sometimes I just have to say this, messages don't always come through the ways that we think. Sometimes they come through other people. Spirit and the ancestors and the divine, they use other people to bring us messages too. So a lot of you might be getting opportunities, messages that are coming through other people, conversations you might be having. And I will say this, it is time to move forward, okay? It is not a time to be stagnant right now. The energy that we're in right now is great for moving, uh, changing careers, um, starting something new. It's just the right time. So let's see what we have here. Show me clearly, please. What is the message? Okay. All right. Forgiveness. I love this. It crushed flower still gives off a sweet scent. Uh, we talk about this all the time. Forgiveness is not necessarily the easiest thing to do, but we do have to forgive to move on. We cannot move on if we're in resentment. Like, for example, uh, an old boss that fired you and you're just still reeling in it. No, you, gotta for, you don't have to reach out to them, but you do within you have to forgive them in order to have the courage to move on. There's nothing worse than hanging on to that resentment. Um, and a big one that people sometimes don't get towards is the forgiving of self. We've all done some crazy stuff. Maybe we've made some what we thought were bad decisions, but you have to forgive yourself too. And then we have wildflower. Live an uncontrolled life, free to grow anywhere, and bound by nothing. Get it? Bound by nothing. Living the life that you desire. I am bound by nothing. I love that bound by nothing. So with that being said, again, don't forget to like, share, and comment. Don't forget to subscribe and book your What Does Spirit Want Me to Know reading right here. Love, light, and blessings to you. Until next time.